What's up guys and welcome to the start of a brand new series here on the channel. This my friends is Ark Survival Evolved. Now what uh, today is the official release date for this game. However, technically it's been out for the past couple of years. Like I first bought this game back in 2015. I had every intention of playing it, just never got around to it. But um, it's kind of weird, right? Like it, technically it's been in like this early access period. But in that early access period, it's had hundreds of updates and even had paid DLC. So was it really early access? No. But uh, regardless, this is going to be fun. I'm excited. If you guys haven't seen this game before, basically it's kind of like a, a survival type game. So think kind of like Minecraft. Like you have to gather resources, take care of yourself, stay alive. But um, it's got hyper realistic textures. Like it's a really good looking game. And... You've got dinosaurs, so you can fight dinosaurs, you can train dinosaurs, you can ride dinosaurs, you can do all kinds of stuff. I'm really excited for it. And um, there are kind of like two sides to it. So you can do a PvE, player versus environment, where it's just kind of like you against the virtual world and you've got to kind of, you know, rank up and craft things and tame dinos and stuff like that. That's how we're going to start. And then once we're comfortable with that, we're going to switch over to PvP, which is player versus player. So it's kind of the same idea. You've got to survive the elements and rank up and craft and that sort of thing. But you've also got other players doing the same thing. And those other players, you can join together with them and work together. Or you can fight against each other and try to take each other out and steal each other's stuff. So it seems like it's going to be a really, really cool game. I can't wait. Hope you guys are excited. If you are, drop a like on the video. And um, let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to start off, like I said, PvE. We're just going to kind of learn the game because I'm a noob. I did watch a couple of YouTube videos trying to learn the basics, but uh, I've got a lot to learn. Hopefully some of you guys can help me out. But um, let's go ahead and get it started here. We're going to play the single player, and we are going to be starting off. Now, um, I did hop into a single player match earlier just to kind of get a hold of the controls and stuff like that. So I think we're going to have to kill ourselves to be able to... Um, to be able to to start a new character. So I say, you know what? Let's uh, let's get crazy here. We're gonna go out into the water. I was exploring the water a little bit earlier, and um, oh, I can't think of a better way to die. Here we go. Let's go ahead and get our fists out. We're gonna swim. Oh, he sees us. He's coming for us, dude. How terrifying is that? It looks like he's smiling. What's up, bro? I just want to be your friend. Ah! Ah! There's one behind us! He totally snuck up behind us and I had no clue. All right. We were killed by a Megalodon. Imagine waking up in a prehistoric world with dinosaurs with some sort of implant in your arm. I don't even know what's going on with that. Like, I, I have no clue. So, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens here. Ooh, we're cold already. That's not good. So... Um, like I said, it's kind of got a, a hint of like a Minecraft type survival game to it So it's all about looting finding resources Getting like tools and weapons and stuff and uh, doing your thing. So hopefully we don't have any. Oh Hello There's a fire here already nice Why does it say that's it says that's my fire. Okay. I'll take it sweet. So we've already got a fire going, but we're going to have to level up our character. I guess um, in my kind of like exploring before I started this episode, I guess your, your progress saves, which is kind of cool. So we're going to go ahead and take all of this. That looks good to me. Now we're also going to need some wood. So how do you guys think we get wood? We punch a tree, baby. How savage is that? Straight caveman status. Need some wood? Just punch it. We're so manly. So we're getting some thatch, getting some wood here, putting ourselves in the process. But uh, we're looking okay. I feel like we're we go. Can we get some wood on the backside. We aren't really getting much wood. All right. Yeah. You know what? Screw you, tree. We didn't want you anyway. Okay. So um, let's see if that's gonna be enough. Let's open up our crafting menu. Oh, we're gonna need some stone too. Oh, we already have stone. Okay. Cool. We picked up some stone from the bushes, I think. So we're gonna go ahead and craft that. Just gonna throw that in our inventory. We're going to toss that down on one. Now, if we go to crafting here, we could also craft... If we found some flint, we could get a torch. I don't know that we really need the torch right now. I guess the sun is kind of going down, isn't it? So, might need one soon. We also have that campfire. So, let's go ahead and get, uh, get some flint from this. Nice. Looks good to me. So, I'm going to go ahead and... Let's, let's craft a torch. Why not? Do that. Create it up. It's going to land right here, and then we're going to throw that in. Uh, I'm going to put it in spot three. 
Because we want to get an axe. <laughs> what? You defecated. Did you guys just see that? There was like a, a fart noise and then it just... Okay. I'll take it. Well, we did level up. So we're going to take care of that here. I'm going to say let's do health first. I feel like health is an important thing in any survival game. So we've got that. Um, we have eight points to unlock stuff. I'm going to say, since we already have a campfire, let's get the hatchet and the spear. So hopefully we can, um, we can craft these. So we need more wood. What? Who just farted? <laughs> Dude, humans and dinos defecate in this game. It's so funny. All right. So we're going to, we're going to get some more wood for a spear. Looks good to me. Just took that down. So I'm going to get this spear and craft this up. Whoa. Why are you yelling at me? I think we're good. Crafting. Oh, we need more wood. We need two more wood. Okay. Go ahead and grab this. Lots of, uh, lots of gas going on right now. Okay, so we've got more wood. Now we're gonna be able to craft up the spear. Actually, I'm gonna move the torch to four. We're gonna put the spear in three and we're gonna have the ax in two. So we've got that, and then crafting. Can we make the axe yet? The hatchet? We're good to go. All right. So, things to look it up. We got our basic tools here. And um, I'm gonna say, let's go try to take out some, oh shoot, it's getting dark. Oh, that's not good. I don't know what comes out at night. I'm sure it's not good stuff. I also don't know what the heck is going on with these spires and lights in the sky. I mean, I, you guys can see it's, Got Triceratops over there. Um, it's kind of like a, um, it, it's, it's obviously prehistoric times, but we're also, there's some sort of future element to it. I don't know what the deal is with that. That's like part of what you're trying to figure out. You want to go to those towers. You want to, I think you have to put items in them to figure out what's going on. I don't know. It's going to be cool though. All right. So we just got 48 wood right there. We also leveled up again. Um, I'm going to go with weight. You always want to be able to carry more stuff, too. Okay, so we've got some of that. Um, boots, hat, gloves, shirt, pants. Works for me. Okay. So we're going to be able to make some of that stuff now. Now, how do we... We need hide. So we're going to need to kill dinos to be able to get that. So we want to go find little low-ranking dinosaurs... If we can find low-ranking dinosaurs, then we're going to be able to kill them and then take their hides. It looks like all the little guys have disappeared for the nighttime, though. You're starving. Find something to eat fast. Oh, shoot. Okay, so we definitely need to find... We need to find... Oh, here we go, here we go. This is what we need. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Uh, we want meat. I think uh, I think this gets us the most meat. Nice. Dodo, hello. I need you real quick. Okay. I don't. I don't want to go in the water. You're safe. I'm not worried, bro. All right. We're gonna have to get back to the campfire. We're gonna have to cook this meat. And it's, uh, we should be okay. We're also cold right now. Oh shoot, the campfire went out. Is this where it was? Hold on. It went out. Can we craft a campfire? Or unlock, dude, we're gonna need a new level. Hold on. We need to, we need to level up so we can unlock the campfire. I thought this campfire was gonna stay lit. It literally went out at the worst time possible. Okay, we're gonna be okay. So we need to uh, we need to level up quickly here. Actually, I think I think the best way to level up is to craft things. But we can't craft things when we already. Well, we can craft a shirt. Looks good to me. Let's go ahead and put that on on the torso. Okay, we've got a shirt now. Dude, we need to be able to start a stupid freaking campfire. I need to level up so I can unlock the campfire and then we can start one. I'm worried. You're encumbered. Drop weight to move again. Oh, shoot. 
Um, I just, we don't need any of this wood. Remove 52 wood. I'm just getting wood to try to level up and get XP. We need to level up, dude. <laughs> this is so not good. Let me go over here. You guys can see our health bar down in the very bottom right. If that hits zero, we're done so. Yes, level up. Okay, we're gonna apply this. So I'm gonna say, um, let's do another health. We're gonna unlock that campfire. Um, I'm gonna leave that for now. We don't really need to do too much else. All right, we're, in we're encumbered. Um, and drop that patch. How come we can't sprint right now? Inventory. Drop that. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna set up a campfire on the beach over here. And uh, what we're gonna do is crafting. We're, we need stones. We need stones. Okay. Stones, stones, stones. Pick these up off the ground. I think you get stone from hitting rocks too, right? Holy cow. Do we have enough? We might have enough. We need two more. All right, let's go back. I'm gonna try to get it in this open area. I just like this area for our spot. So we're gonna set this up. We're going to uh, craft a campfire. Dude, I think we made it, boys. I think we're gonna be okay. Go back to our inventory, drop that. Five, place the campfire. We're gonna need to uh, access inventory, wood, light it, meat. Okay. So, oh, we're also low on water. Let's go drink some water. We're a savage and we can drink seawater, which is kind of cool. So we've got that. It's gonna take, uh, oh shoot, no, light it, light it. Hold for more options, access inventory. So that meat is gonna cook, and uh, you can eat raw meat if you have to, but it's not good for you, obviously, just like in real life. So we want that meat to cook. We're getting low on our health, but we're gonna be okay here, I believe. We have, there we go, cooked meat. Throw that over here, consume. Yes, sir. All right. So that took care of a bit of our hunger here. We're gonna need way more meat, though. Dude, that was close. Look at us. just. We're learning how to survive here, on the beach, in the middle of a crazy futuristic dinosaur land. Whoa, what is that? That does not look good. We're gonna have to go check that out eventually. We're having stuff spoil. Excess inventory. Got another meat. Go ahead and consume it. Okay, so you guys can see our meat level over there down the bottom right is looking okay now. And, um, I think we're gonna be all right. Our health is, is regening. So we've gotta go get some more. Level seven, do you think we can take this one on? Nice. <laughs> okay. Got a lot of hide from that, which was nice. Another dodo bird. I'm not gonna let you run in the water this time, brother. I'm sorry. We're starving already? Dude, how do you, how do you not be starving all the time? How can we, I feel like we need to do something a little bit better here. We need to get back to our campfire. Better make sure we have enough wood. Let's go ahead and open this up. We've got four times cooked meat here. Consume that, we're gonna put some more meat on there. Consume. We're looking better there. Looks good to me. You're cold, you should find some warmth soon. Well, we can sit by the fire, we should be okay, right? Yeah. What else can we craft here? I feel like clothes should help us with the, uh, oh, we need more fibers. Yeah, we need tons of fibers. Clothes should help us with the, um, with the, the weather, the elements. 
We aren't getting fibers from that. What do we get fibers from? I think we get fibers from plants. Yeah. Okay. Let's try to pick up as much fiber as... Oh, wow, you get fiber really easily. This is nice. Run around grabbing fiber. Yes, please. Looks good to me. All right. So, I'm gonna head back to the fire so we're not cold. I'm gonna open this up. Let's see if we can craft uh, maybe some pants. I don't like that sound. Stay away from my fire, sir. Okay, we've got all that. Um, inventory. Put some pants on. Put those gloves on. And we still can't be out in the cold. It's still, oh jeez, dude, he's got a lot to say. You just be quiet over there, buddy. Um, all right, so we're gonna have to figure out how we can survive the night and not be super, super cold, but um, that's okay. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and transfer all of that. We'll consume some of this. All right, dude. You're gonna shut up or I'm gonna shut you up. One of the two, it's whatever you want. Where is he? Dude, this would be so creepy. Even those little guys would just freak me out if this was real life. Okay. So we're just gonna sit by our fire. How's our, um, our wood looks good. We've got 86 wood in there. Oh shoot, I just ate a bunch of berries I didn't mean to. Um, okay. So, what's our next step? We have some unlocks here. Water skin, good to keep you hydrated, but slowly leaks water. That's kind of cool, okay. So that's kind of like a, almost like a canteen in a sense. Boots. Provide some protection from the heat and cold, but only minimal protection from injuries. Let's, uh, let's, let's learn that. And then hat. Let's learn that as well. So let's see if we can craft these things. So what do we need here? We need fiber. And fiber. Let's go get some fiber. I need more fiber. Just gonna run around and grab everything we can. This is kinda cool. You can just grab it on the run. So maybe if we have a full outfit, we won't get cold. That's my idea. If not, we might just have to wait till morning. Alright. Should be a decent amount of fiber there. Um what do you guys think? I would think that the hat, like you lose a lot of heat from your, your head. So I'm gonna go with the hat. That's probably pretty important. We can crop the, the boots right now too. All right, so we'll put a hat on the head. Boots on the feet, cause we don't want cold feet. All right, come on. We're still cold, man. I don't know what to do then. But we are, I mean, this is, it's gonna give us a little bit of armor, a little bit of protection. At least we're not naked now. At least we're looking like we're uh, we're kind of starting to live out here. Okay, cool. So we have a new upgrade. Let's go ahead and check that out. I'm gonna say um, crafting skill, movement speed, melee damage. Ooh, melee damage is probably pretty good. We unlocked. Oh, we can have a, uh, a nice little hut here. Now, everything that I've seen is said that you don't want to go with the thatch hut. You unlock wood at level 11. So we're gonna wait to make a wood base. We're not gonna do thatch because it's, it's kind of... Well, I guess if we're in PvE, I don't think it really matters. Um, but yeah, you guys can see that we can actually make a thatch hut, which is kind of cool. I'm gonna grab a water skin. We're gonna have two points to spare. We need uh, two more hides for it. So we're gonna have to find something small to take out. It's cold. I know it's cold. I need one little victim. Looks like the sun might be starting to come out. Maybe not, I don't know. It's just a little bit brighter now, which is good. Gotta find, I want a victim. Hmm. I don't see any little guys to pick on. I'm not really good enough to pick on the big guys. Yeah, the sun's definitely coming out. This is cool, we're still cold. I don't wanna get too far from home. Look at that guy out there. Here's a little guy. Dilphosaur? Oh, jeez! Holy cow, he hit us with his... 
his little spit thing. Oh my gosh, we almost died right there. We still have a decent amount of health. I guess technically we didn't almost die, but... Oh, we're... We gotta lay down. If you lay down, you gain your stamina back quicker. Which is nice. We gotta work on that stamina, dude. I feel like stamina is gonna be really important. Especially when you have to run from dinosaurs. That was cr I wasn't expecting that. He like blinded our vision. Alright, so we're gonna head back here. Um, how are we looking on... On meat? Oh, let's go ahead and open up our fire here. Inventory. Got a bunch of meat. Throw some raw meat in there. Only a couple of these. Okay, looks good to me. Um, what else? What were we doing? Oh, we were gonna craft that uh, that water skin. Is this gonna go in offhand? No. How do I use it? We just go in here. I'm not sure how that thing works. You guys will have to let me know how that works, or I'll have to look it up. All right, cool. So, everything looks good so far. The sun's coming out. We're gonna be able to venture off a little bit. And uh, I'm gonna say, I think the next thing I wanna do is I wanna train a dinosaur, even if it's just a little one. I feel like that's probably a good spot to leave off for this first episode. So, that's one of the biggest parts of this game, is the, um, the goal is to be able to, try, to train dinosaurs and make them work for you. They make things easier, whether it be traveling or looting or anything like that. So what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna go around and we wanna pick up narco berries. You guys will see over on the left over there. Um, occasionally we'll pick up, we just got two right there, narco berries. So those are gonna keep dinosaurs asleep. So basically what you wanna do is you want to knock them out, give them narco berries to keep them asleep, and then give them food so they'll trust you. And then as long as they don't wake up before you fully tame them, then they're yours to, uh, to keep. So, I'm going to try to pick up as many narco berries as possible. And we're going to see, uh, we're going to see what we can do. We're still kind of cold. All right. I feel like we're pretty good there. We just, we gotta find the right little thing. I kinda wanna get one of those Dilposaurs. I feel like that would be pretty cool. Cause they can actually do a little bit of damage. The Triceratops is really, really good if you wanna loot. You can actually loot on them and they're way quicker at looting like plants and stuff. But we can't get him yet. Obviously he's a big boy, so. We're gonna have to wait on that. Luckily for now, at least he's friendly. He wouldn't be friendly if we tried to punch him. So, um. We're gonna wait for more of the little guys to come out. Looks like we're not cold anymore. The sun is officially up, which is awesome. And we're gonna search around for our first victim. We could do a dodo. I feel like that's kind of boring though. I'm looking for, um, I don't know. I wanna find another one of those little spitty guys. I feel like they're probably only gonna be out at night though. Oh, we could get one of these seal looking things. What is this guy? Hurrah prime fish me in last slot to feed. He's a level 12, he's nice. We could do him. We've gotta get fish meat though, and there's a, sh there's a shark right there. Is that shark gonna come for us if we go after this fish? guy go Woo! was he coming for us I don't even know okay so we're gonna take uh, is this this is raw fish meat I'll put it in our last slot oh shoot I ate it I didn't mean to put raw pr oh it's got to be prime fresh meat okay so we're not gonna be able to get him at least not yet we also ate some raw fish actually technically that wouldn't even really be bad for you most of the times you can't eat Raw fish. I don't think we're ready to get those big guys yet. Um, we might be stuck with the dodo boys. I mean, obviously there's gonna be a lot more options as time goes on. You guys can see in our um, our upgrades, like you can get uh, saddles so you can ride all kinds of different things. Like look at, look at how many upgrades there are. This is how deep this game is, all the way up to level 100. So um, we're just starting off. This is episode one. I guess we can't expect too much. So I'm gonna go find a, uh, 
I'm gonna go find a dodo. We're just gonna we're gonna tame a dodo. Just for the heck of taming. Ooh, there's a little guy over there. What is this guy? Are we gonna be able to keep up with him though? I feel like he's gonna be super, super fast. What is this thing? Is everybody here nice? Yes. Yes, beautiful. All right, access inventory. So what what do these guys eat? Do they eat meat or do they eat berries? Dilphosaur, will he eat that? I think they eat meat. Yeah, they eat meat. All right, how do we keep a, I, I know there's like, there's something you're supposed to do to keep them unconscious though. You're supposed to do something with the narco berries. There we go. Okay, you just click consume. I was worried that was consume for us, but it's consume for him. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna make him consume a bunch of those. So torpidity I think is how asleep they are. So that looks good. So you guys can see, as he eats, his taming goes up as we make him eat those berries. His unconsciousness goes down. So, um, we just kind of sit here and wait. And we should be able to get him. A, a, a Dilophosaur. Sweet. Trameable by Tribe of Greg. <laughs> Love how we have a tribe name. That's a weird looking, like, boar bear mix thing. Okay, so we're at 83%. He's got four meats left. Split one, make him eat that. Name your Dilphosaur. Oh baby, let's go. Um, China number one. It's like a, uh, a Dr. Disrespect joke. I don't know, I was just thinking he's like the first dinosaur. So he's, he's our China number one. Here we go, baby. All right, how do we, let's go ahead and back out of that. Look at that. Okay, what, what can he do? Behavior. Follow, turret mode, group whistle. Wow, this, attack your target. Options, change name, unclaim. Spe oh, you can breed dinosaurs? Harvest settings? He can harvest resources. Dude, there is so much going on right now. I love it. All right. He's a level 26, too. I don't even know what we can do with him, but is he going to follow us? He's going to follow us. We got a new friend. <laughs> Let's go, baby. All right, so I think that's where we're going to leave off. Let me know what we can do with this Dilphosaur. Hopefully, he can swim. I'm hoping, I'm hoping he can swim. I think he can. Yes, sir. This is awesome. All right. So... I'm going to take some wood from this tree. We're going to get back to the fire. We're going to figure out what we should do next. I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of Ark Survival Evolved. Obviously, we're a noob. Obviously, we're just starting off. But there's a ton of cool stuff we can do. So uh, I'm looking forward to getting into it. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.